I love women. M- I'm a misandrist complete. I absolutely wait, hate wait, men. Um, wait, do you hate us? Absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of a brand new podcast, which is called the Ganta Podcast. Let's Yay. go! Yay! Yay! I have uh, my co-host, my lovely co-host Isa. What's up? Um, Yay. The smart dude, and Woo. I have. We have another friend of ours. Uh, her name is Sanya. That's it. Mirwani. You can you can introduce yourself. Hi, like. my name is Sanya Mirwani, and uh, I'm very very excited to be here. Yeah, are you? I am actually less excited <laughs> to be here. Um, okay, so what 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 happened? Like, so I I'll I'll just tell you one thing. Like, she just got in here. We haven't really talked much. Yeah, you won't let me talk. We're supposed to keep everything for the podcast. For the podcast. So go on. What happened? So actually, um, Isa here has a very lovely house in uh, Brooklyn, uh, which is the address they gave me. <laughs> for context, I live in Queens, which is, um, you know. One and a half hour away from Brooklyn, Brooklyn. and uh, this address, his current address, is about twenty-five, chal thirty minutes away from my house. Uh, so I travel one and a half hour because uh, someone uh, sent me the wrong address, <laughs> and uh, and the that's audacity. Not, true. not only not only have they sent me the wrong address, they have uh, called me. I video called them. I'm in the middle of a park. Okay, I'm in the middle of a. F- of a park and uh, i'm looking and there are these like guys there and they only speak spanish and i'm trying to communicate i'm trying to tell i'm like el deficito some shit like that <laughs> i'm trying to like figure out what building is called cuz i'm like isa doesn't seem like the kind of guy who lives in a park you know Sometimes, possible sometimes. possible when, when he fight you know, with his girlfriend yeah he does then he's at the park apparently yeah. Yeah. and so i finally uh, i video call Abir and I'm like, this is where I am, and they are like, bro, where are you, dude? <laughs> like, oh, are you, are you in the right place? And I'm showing, the, I'm like, this is the address you sent. They're like, oh, bro, no, bro, you've gone to the wrong address. And then this one has opened. I'm like, check, check the link you sent me. He's opened the link and he's like. Hey, so bro, actually, it's the r- you've sent the wrong address. <laughs> like I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I've gone to the wrong address on both. Okay, okay. Yes. In my defense, yes. Isa sent that same address to Josh and to Justin, and both okay. of them reached. Did you guys already know that it was going to be in Manhattan? Did you have an idea? Yeah. So if you were given a link that directly opens up to Brooklyn, where would you go? Uh, Manhattan. <laughs> okay, that, that's because you're a white boy and no. oh, he's wow. living in Manhattan. No, he's from St. Louis. He's not even from this area. Okay, I got a link. Mike, okay, Mike, look Mike. at how I'm being Mike. gaslit right now. I got a link. I clicked on the link. I went to the address, and um, two hours later, I have arrived. You know, that's, so, that's on Sunday. She made it to Manhattan. When when the oh, party's yeah. on, when, when, when the party's on, party, then you made it to Manhattan. Given the right address. I was given the right address. I ca- you send me a link, and I will come to the address given to me. So I mean, I discovered a whole new part of Brooklyn I've never mm-hmm. been to before, and uh, I went to the Starbucks there. So yeah, and and you know she was so sweet. She asked me like, "Oh, I'm at the Starbucks. Do you need something?" And I said, "We want you. Just come." And then she was like, "Oh, I bought you guys cake." And I was like, "Nice." And then she ended up in Brooklyn. Dude, literally, I thought I thought I was anyway like five six minutes late. Five six minutes late. So I felt bad, and I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna just like pick up something for them because I don't want to go to." A house empty-handed, you know, like they see and all. So I brought these dumbass cake pops. Can can we try it, eat it right now? Yes, please go ahead. I, I hope they're good though. After all this, like, yeah. have you ever had this before? No, I've. No? What is it? Like, I don't even. You, know. you wanna? Yeah. You wanna? Yeah, you wanna it tell us what like this like is? Oh, this looks. Have a bite, Abir. Let's have a bite together. All three of us, we have a bite together. But I, I got this one for Jack. <laughs> So We're still trying to figure out like, two paparazzi. mics. Paparazzi. Okay, okay. What are your questions? <laughs> or madam, madam. Uh, uh, baskaro, baskaro. Both okay. 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 Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Sorry, guys. Justin, I'm eating yours. Justin's like not paying attention. <laughs> Justin hates you. Mmm. 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 Now that we talk, it all over our mouth. It's like, Justin, you want to bite? <laughs> <laughs> Josh. You want to bite? You want to bite? I think you want to bite. He does want to bite. Come on. He's just stressed out. Come, yeah. come, come. Come on, come on. Do I get in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, come in, come in. Come, come, go behind. 
Mm. We're gonna I see him. You should just sit behind us the entire time and just be eating the cake pop really slowly. No, no, it's all you. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Eat mine also. No, no, go mm. ahead. I'll just be over here. Okay, so um, don't don't mind the white boy behind us. He's the diversity quota. <laughs> <right now. laughs> so yeah, when like I I knew like she would be she would have some certain feelings because obviously she had to travel so much. Um, I am masking my feelings right now. So that's why like when she entered like we didn't talk to her that much and we were like just just we're yeah, gonna he start rolling. Yeah, refused to even say hello. Hi because we me. needed con. Hi hi Sanya, how are hi, you? I'm N- good. Nice to meet you. Nice nice to meet nice you. Nice to, to meet you. Too. Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm nice properly nice meeting you for the first time. Actually, hi. to be fair, nice I'm meeting meet Abhi for the second time. Really? Yeah, I've met you guys equal amount of times. Wait, so how did you come with him? Like, I thought you guys were so close. By the way, best friends, we grew up together. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, Abir texted me when he wanted information about New York. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's he's very matlabi. Yeah, because you said, no, I'm moving to New York. You don't remember? And then taxes came out. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. No, I didn't. I just spoke to you about taxes. I didn't speak to Tell you like. You had messaged me saying that you moved, you're moving to New York. And I said, let's get on call. And then you never got on call. No, you asked me to get on a call about taxes. No problem. You the lovely right thing now? about this is <laughs> we have uh, receipts for everything. Oh, because I've got something as well. Oh, you don't DM on Vanish mode? <laughs> what like is my that? boy 21. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what Vanish mode is. No. <laughs> you know, yesterday so I was I telling my... Okay, okay, okay. I'm over. I was. I'm like, yeah. Welcome to New York. I'm so kind. And then I was like, he was asking me questions. I'm like, why don't we just get on call? Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, sure thing and all. I live here. <laughs> and then boom, never again. I, I hate those kind of people who just ask you all the questions, like, and yeah, then they leave. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk to you. I'm happy to talk to you. But like, I prefer. I hate texting. So I prefer like talking on call. So I have. Uh, by the way, okay. I I also have something which I want to say. All right. So oh, I'll tell you how I how I know. Yeah, Sanya, I want to know like, how you guys know each other because yeah. I know you now. Okay. Yeah. So you getting to know give, you. Give yeah. her your mic. Yeah. Yes. Because um. Okay, so this is this might we have to go a little bit back, maybe like COVID times, COVID uh, times. right? And I was in India, and my girlfriend like back then, she. What happened? Oh, sorry. Oh, Continue. We're, we're not gonna. Do <laughs> you want to cry? No. What happened? <laughs> this is no. what I want to know. What so, happened? So, uh, <laughs> my girlfriend back then, like we, she was, um, she really used to like your sister's content. Right. And she showed me like, oh, like I really like her. She's so cute. Blah blah. Agree. And Follow then, Tanisha on Instagram. Yeah. Huh. So I'm and just then uh, plugging Tanisha's oh, thing, yeah. Yeah, follow me like we're always follow <laughs> me like. Abba. Um, and then I in her story like or her post mm-hmm. I saw you, and then I stalked you and I was like, oh you she seems hai. cool. Huh. Um, huh. No no Pip? honestly I I thought like oh she seems cool huh. and then she used to like kind of like you know a little bit like in a playful way get possessive like oh you think she's cute like you think she's so fun she's oh so God. cool. Huh. And I'm, I was like, I'm part of the story. I was like, yeah, she she is cool. Like she, her, all her posts seem so cool, and she kind of gives me like David Dobrik vibes on her. Yeah, stories. you told me this. You told right? me this. Now listen to yeah, this. Yeah, you told me I this. I texted her like, oh, your story gives me like David Dobrik vibes. Yeah. So she replied. Uh, she was like, oh yeah, thank you so much. And I yeah. was like, I showed it to my girlfriend. I was like, see, she replied, <laughs> and all that. Shout out to your ex girlfriend. Yeah. And then they broke up. <laughs> no, no. Uh, and then um, she followed me back. Hmm. And then she unfollowed me. What nonsense. Oh, yeah. I never that's unfollowed true. you. That's true. I have and never you know what unfollowed I did, anyone. I unfollowed her. <laughs> and I then, swear. And then Wait, after a while, she I never followed unfo- me back. <laughs> and I followed her Okay, back. I'm really sorry. I did know <laughs> that. I'm really sorry. I had no idea. No, no, no. Yeah. I want to publicly apologize. <laughs> I really didn't know I unfollowed you. Apologies. I am sorry. This, this is my apology <laughs> video. Yeah, I'm all constantly apologizing on Instagram anyway. So this is my apology you video. Are, okay. I, uh, yeah, I'm fine. We don't need the apology. I'm really now. sorry. And now look, here I we mean, are. Yeah, you, I, I, sent, I, I literally sent now. you to Brooklyn. You so sent me even. to Brooklyn. Um, There's nothing wrong with Brooklyn. You sent me to Sunset Park, Brooklyn. <laughs> I was next to a Costco, which is like... That's Costco! Exactly you, you know where I was now. Dur, far. <laughs> so I met Sanya on Sunday, like before we... Yes. Uh, came to party with you guys yes and um then also i got food i got mcdonald's yeah she got she yes. got food which she didn't you guys didn't even finish it so when i got home i saw I'm like sorry. fries and half eaten burger and it was yeah, just sitting there yeah i just there. couldn't finish it um, sorry but anyway so and i i no, picked up something which i wrote down in my notes today and i was like i'm gonna ask you that thing oh my god it, it okay. sounds interesting you're like so always working huh you um <laughs> 
that's the content creator job oh, like yeah. yeah you can't always, trust your always creator. 24/7 like, we're always like noting down things i don't know what all i said also that <laughs> <laughs> day i should i'll be careful now huh but you you said something to one of my friends you said like i can never be a girl's friend if she is not a good girl's friend like something like that no 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 what i okay no what yeah. i said is that i don't trust oh yeah, yeah i don't trust women who don't have female friends hmm that's what i said and which i found like very interesting cuz yeah. i've i've um like met s- some women like that my yeah my problem essentially is i have no problem with any women i support women's rights and wrongs always they could I do anything women. i love women M- i'm a misandrist complete i absolutely wait, hate wait, men um wait do you hate us yeah, absolutely like nice you sent boys. me to brooklyn but yes wait do um, you think cuz we're men that's why we sent you to brooklyn what? no i think you all are dumb because you're yeah, like you can see I'm dumb yeah, that's yeah. fine huh. yeah no 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 so what i'm saying is though i feel like unfortunately because of the patriarchy there are a lot of women pick me women who are like i hang out just with boys i'm just like i'm a guys girl like i don't get along with other women and i'm like you're on your own journey i can't be friends with you right now because i'm someone my female friendships are the most important friendships in my life and honestly my boyfriends closest friends friends are lots of guys but also a lot of women and i think that's like a green flag if he's a friends green with flag? A, if my if i need my male friends to be friends with women but Whereas if they're only with the boys mm, shady so what do you look at when you're making friends like what like you're saying green I flag i don't Yeah. No, but if yeah. you're saying green flag for something like this, I never thought about it this way, right? Like you said, your boyfriend should have friends Female with friends, guys. Female friends, absolutely. And and, and girls. yeah, yeah. But girls, it's important for me. Should only have female friends. No, no, no. Girls should. Everyone should be friends with whoever everyone, they want. Everyone. My yeah, okay. logic is it shouldn't be only one. Only one. Only you one. should be friends with whoever the hell you want. Okay. Whoever you get along with. Oh, what's the reason behind this? Ma- I'd love to know. I feel like a lot of, like with the way in India, also especially, there's a. because you want to be cool when you're like in the 8th 9th grade or 10th grade or whatever and the connotation <laughs> the connotation of cool is always more male like so like the girl who watches football is cool really you know what i'm saying that's like to fit in with the guys because so often things that are inherently female or considered female are not as cool necessarily or you get judged for it like When you're younger putting makeup on people are like oh my god you don't need makeup like i don't put any makeup on and i look so good without it like nobody cares just do what you want and that's like if you're still that's okay in the ninth grade if as a 25 year old or 26 year old you're still like i have only male friends because you know i just don't get along with girls because <laughs> girls are just so catty and it's just like i don't fit their vibe like i don't want to go to a sleepover don't go no one's inviting you <laughs> Where did this come from? Like, <laughs> where did you get all this from? I have lots of opinions. So, um, <laughs> uh, but I have a counter okay. also. Yeah. Uh, not exactly a counter. I no, just no, have fair. like it comes from experience of like yeah. me just knowing people in general and meeting huh. people, and I, I might have just met more of those people. Right. Um, but in my life, like I've actually had a lot of girlfriends. Hmm. Some of them are really nice. Mm-hmm. The other ones are also nice, but they're just nicer towards mostly men. Okay. And I, s- whenever I see them, because, and this is a pattern. Like, if let's say generally, what I have observed is like, if I don't like someone, like let's say if I don't like a guy, mm-hmm. I wouldn't really fake it with him. Like I okay, would just valid. never like I would I would just be like yeah what's up like if I see him yeah valid. but I wouldn't like just uh, be friends with him for the sake of for being the sake friends of it. I wouldn't yeah, like yeah. fake it no valid and I have like literally seen um, girl friends of mine who hate each uh, other and talk shit about each other and and, and like yeah so no but I think and it's like really uh, oh, no, no, visible no, fair fair um, finish your thought. So yeah yeah I'm where I'm getting is like I've seen them that they don't want the other girl to be happy like they all the wishes <laughs> like oh why why are you talking to her you're my friend like why are you talking to her why are you speaking to her and I'm like but like they didn't do anything to me so I don't No they're not, they are generally nice. nice they're also me. nice okay. to you Yeah but see that's the thing I don't think that's necessarily a gendered thing cuz I have so many male friends who are honestly the bitchiest people I've met in my life. Yeah. And it's that's so that's the thing I don't think that's necessarily a gender thing because I and for me personally if my friend hates someone 
uh, I hate them automatically. But um, there are, see, context matters, right? Everything in different situations. I'm not saying that there are no toxic women out there. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just saying that the there is more of a connotation of toxic women than toxic men because men have it easier in life in general. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Nod there. Y'all can't see it, but I got a nod. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just think that this connotation of like women are like sneaky or catty or whatever. I've met some, I genuinely, some of the cattiest people I've met have been my male friends. It's just that they're better at masking it and they're not necessarily, they don't express it the same way women do. And again, this is also talking as gender is a binary right now. We're talking like that, it's not. Mm -hmm. But also there's a very specific connotation that's like, oh, women tend to like hear each other and talk shit about each other. I have seen boys n literally not talk to each other because Arsenal didn't do well. <laughs> like, dude, calm down. It's okay. Like, I've seen friendships break because of Arsenal. Like, and you're telling me I'm emotional. <laughs> like, let's, let's so talk about that. Another, another thing uh, which I just want to add, which comes huh. as a counter again, because we're, yeah. we're sitting on a podcast, so we need Lovely. to have like we both must the have sides. Both sides, yeah. yeah. You play devil's advocate. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> well, according to you, it might be the devil's advocate. Uh, yeah, correct. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> my opinions are uh, opinions. Um, but, um, so like I've, I've seen, I've had a few friends back mm -hmm. in school, like when I was in school. Yeah. Um, who if, let's say, if I uh, do some, like if I mess up something, mm -hmm. they wouldn't be mad at me. But yeah. if like a girlfriend, other girlfriend would mess up something, mm -hmm. they would they would be mad at her more. Oh, okay. See so, that. See that. Which I felt like was I felt nice because I got the special you attention. Got special. Yeah. But uh, I also felt like, and it yeah. was a pattern. Like okay. It wasn't just like once. Yeah. No. So that's what you're saying is totally valid. And uh, again, I don't want to make this super serious, but um, that's because they're all products of the patriarchy. The way it is a slow moving process. It doesn't mean. Um, there are women out there who are upholding the patriarchy and that sucks. Uh, there are men out there who benefit from the patriarchy and don't say anything about it and that sucks. In I'm, general, I'm saying it on the podcast. Yeah, so uh, Abhi sucks. <laughs> uh, so uh, essentially, I understand that that is the case and that is, I'm sure there are many cases like that but that's also because inherently we are wired in a certain way because we've grown up in a certain way in a world where the man gets more opportunities than the woman does. So some, so I don't even blame the women who necessarily uphold the patri patriarchy because I'm like, they are also victims of the same, you know, brainwashing that's taking place and it sucks. We can actually talk smart on the podcast yeah. as well. Yeah, we, we can talk more than just gym and partying. You know? Look at that, look at that. <laughs> look at that, You're that's welcome. why we get the guests. You all right? have lost your fun audience. Speak. Yeah, I, bro, like you just threw me so off guard <laughs> with this whole okay, thing. Okay, we go back to fun stuff. So tell me about your gym routine. Gym routine. Your Arbiter's gym joined routine. Abhinav joined a new gym. I love boys, huh? And gym he, routine. Yeah, you, you know, you can just like get guys to talk about gym. Yeah, tell yeah. me, tell me, yeah. uh, how much do you bench, bro? Bro, Abhinav. No, Abhinav's like bench. <laughs> Abhinav's more of a runner. Runner. He's how much are you runner. running? I run from the gym. <laughs> you run from the gym. Where are you, where are you running these days? How are you running? Uh, I'm, I'm running... Um, I was going to make a joke, but never mind. I'm, I'm running on the East River. Lovely. And what are you doing? Uh, what's your workout regime? I'm more of a you know proper gym guy like. And uh, what pre workout do you use? I don't do pre workout. Okay, I've no never protein had powder. No, do you this is my that? this is my seem, podcast now. Yeah, I'm asking like the question. <laughs> you've taken the mic. Uh, I grew up with a lot. I my my father's a gym bro. So he's a gym bro. My father's a gym bro. Yeah, how like, much does he bench? A, a lot. A I'll show you pictures. Yeah. I don't know how much he benches, but uh, a lot more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> I give Isa the mic, and he says like. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, maybe I should have the mic back. <laughs> uh, I'm just still trying to get over the whole rant that you just threw. Just uh, we can we can steer the conversation. Let's steer the, yeah, Jim. No, I have. I, no, no, no let, going, let's let's I'm, talk about. I'm um, going much. I have another thing. Oh, I, 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 I I came prepared, bro. Oh, bro. I, I came prepared. I came prepared with some fun stories. Oh, do you want to start? Okay. Yeah. Tell me a fun story. Okay, a fun story about. I want to hear happened. what your fun stories. Oh, look like. now you want to hear about my fun. This is so cute. Sorry. Uh, that, sure. Uh, this happened about what two, three weeks ago. Mm. I was in this building. I was sitting right where Josh is sitting. 
at my desk and suddenly I smell something burning, okay? And someone's ass. I wish. But no. Uh I smell something burning and I go outside and it's smoky. Hmm. Okay, it is all smoke outside. And it smells like obviously by then you know kind of there's some fire somewhere. Got it. And like we're on a pretty high floor here. Yeah. So you don't know what the hell to do. The obviously you don't use the elevator, but like the elevators don't work. So I rang every person's doorbell and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I'm like let's get the fuck out of here there's a fire. Huh. One guy came out he's like okay <laughs> wait I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> Valid I would do the same thing. <laughs> he like okay yeah let me just like I, I don't know what he was doing but if there's a fire you leave immediately. Are but right? in this city there's a fire every 5 minutes. But it's in your building like you don't know what the no, hell could be. No you okay you're right you should yeah, leave. Literally However, I want I to make sure whoever's here yeah. you what? I have been You've been in a situation like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I want to hear about your story. Go ahead. But basically, yeah, I gathered as many people from this floor as I could. Whoever cared about saving their lives. And then we went down the stairs and it was actually so smoky. But so what happened? No, no, I'm I'm not even kidding. I swear I thought like that could have been my last day. Like because... Near death experience. Near death experience. But what happened was apparently someone threw some some lit lit garbage into the... Trash shoot, even and if you're that like yeah, that, that made the entire everything, building like smoke small, out. small. Even if you're smoking it, and you don't stub your cigarette properly and throw it out, uh-huh. it can burn the pipes and the whole building. It was oh. insane. Like yeah. the whole fire trucks came and crazy how fireworks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it spread so fast. Yeah, I I saw someone uh, near my house. I was um, walking back home. I saw someone's car on fire, like literally on yeah. fire. Bro, bro, we'll talk about someone's car getting on fire and I'll, I'll tell you like how it was um the funniest part is like that lady was uh so she was waiting on a red light mm-hmm. and this older dude mm. he was like saying something like pointing and saying something so she thought like he's like a you know crazy guy yeah. and even i thought that yeah so she didn't pay attention <laughs> she she just like huh. drove straight and huh. then that guy like the older dude he jumped in front of the car and he's like your car is on, on fire, fire! Hmm. Like literally with that aggression, so she got out, and there were there was like a lot of smoke coming out, and like in seconds it was in flames. Yeah. Uh, but the fire yeah. brigade came in like literally two minutes. I once caused a fire. You did? Yeah, how, it how? was the stupidest, most embarrassing moment of my life. When I was in college, uh, I was living in a dorm, and uh, I was making mac and cheese. And uh, you were you were one of those. Huh? I was one of, those. one of those. I was such an fu- idiot. One of those few people who make mac and cheese. Yeah. No, no, exactly. no. One of the that, idiots who who set yeah, yeah, the whole who place set on the fire, whole place, the fire because of goes the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have caused life. a few. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was uh, at this point. I didn't drink or anything. So I was like fully after. I was sober. Even better. That's like, that's I even, love this story. I'm saying this is more getting more and more embarrassing, and um, I put the but mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah, all that fault. Uh, I put the mac and cheese in the... F- oh, sorry. I put the no, mac and okay. cheese... You can say what you oh, want. Oh, allowed everything? No, no, I'll, I'm going to beep it. It's fine. Say whatever you want to say. Oh, true. So they look at the, look at Albert's face. No, he has to edit all this. I'm gonna beep like. You're editing. You're editing. I'm That's gonna right. beep. Your I'm gonna I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna leave this part. <laughs> Don't edit this out. I'm just gonna leave this part and whatever you said about uh, in the first segment. You're I'm gonna really m- sick. You're really. This is what they <laughs> do. This is they do you guy. dirty like that. Gaslighting. I'm telling you. Anyway, so I um, I had mac and cheese, and uh, I didn't put water in the little bowl that you're supposed to put water in wait how wait how meaning i didn't put water in <laughs> i forgot about it <laughs> i'm an idiot about the one thing i never put. claim to be smart <laughs> i'm an idiot i put no, 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 it in smart, the i put in the microwave we, we are the idiots always we sent you to brooklyn yes facts man, uh, man yeah I want to kill myself. <laughs> so um, after that, we, um, yeah, I, I, and then the fire alar- alarm rang and then the fire brigade came and uh, everyone was taken out of the, and then they were like, who caused this? And I was like, <laughs> me. So yeah. Shameless. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did that. I do they do they like uh, fine you or something if you cause Not the fire? first time, not the first time. Oh, And okay. it's never happened ever again. I went to Sarah Lawrence College. It's a little outside New York City. I've heard of it. I've, I've heard of it. Um, He's actually heard of it. You're lying. No, no, I've heard of it. I've heard of it. Just, I, yeah. yeah. Never mind. 
so um no fire I, i've had so so many near death experiences yeah. in uh, america uh i've been on a train where there was a gunman before uh i have been i've like like ran out and everything did you have to run arre okay see train which train <laughs> i'm 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 saving it for the further episode but okay it, okay stay tuned yeah um yeah i was on a train with a gunman before uh i was at rockaway beach when uh, there was a massive current and three people died oh what the hell i hell? have uh, um so it's not funny it's very serious i have been at, <laughs> no no i've had many near death experiences in uh, new york city i like how you scolded he said it's not funny <laughs> yeah. she laughed and then she scolded <laughs> at me it's, it's not, not funny, funny. <laughs> <laughs> no cuz you said it's not funny so i was trying to be serious i'm like it's not <laughs> funny we apologize to them i'm sorry <laughs> again i'm one more apology my, the, the second apology okay what, welcome back minutes? to my apology video i'd like to apologize to isa for like No, no, no. To the fans, to the fans, and Isa and Abir and Justin no, and Josh. Don't apologize to us, where we guys were idiots. Everybody else in the world, that they're doing a little bit behind me, but uh, I can see it. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. What bit are we doing behind yeah. you? No, you know the thing that men do. They like look at each other like. <laughs> no, 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 no. We didn't. I didn't look at him once. <laughs> no, I'm jo- okay. I was just, I was just Gosh. thinking about like. Oh my God, you guys are so emotional. Uh. What, what what is your opinion on girls male best friend we're back we're back to this yeah oh yeah we're, we're back to this oh yeah, yeah take the mic take the mic <laughs> <laughs> now yeah, he says he's going to be zoned out for that, like <laughs> uh, i'm sleeping oh uh, wake me up and this uh, bitch is done talking I, i'll tell you like why i'm asking uh yeah Ooh. I think it's totally fine if women have male best friend this is my thing i you be friends with whoever you want to be friends with i have i have male best friends yeah i know Yeah. But I I uh, okay I'm going to tell you one thing. I so I I've, I've noticed like when it's like a girl's best friend like a male best friend mm-hmm. like from the girl's side generally mm-hmm. like what I've observed it's just friendship. Okay. From the guy's side. And from the guy's side, side he says that it's friendship. But he it's might not. have a girlfriend. But it's not. But he still gets possessive like so I I'll I'll, okay. I'll give okay. an example. Yeah yeah yeah. So um is that what are your thoughts? He's going to give a personal example. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know that like his possessiveness. All from, yeah, all from his stories only we know that. No, so I I met. Uh, Again, yeah, talk I, about uh, another girl he met, another story. Actually, that's just I want you take both mics. <laughs> <laughs> We don't even want to talk. Use it. We're both committed. Yeah. No, no, no. So I, uh, yeah, I met a girl, oh. and um, oh, sh- shocker. No way. Okay. Then. Uh-huh. And uh, so I was with another friend of mine, and mm. the other friend was dating a girl. So we we went to see her, and she had her. friends with her out of which one was a girlfriend <laughs> and one was a guy friend well, uh, yeah, so like okay let me repeat it again can you give okay don't give their real names but yeah. give give them names so let's say uh Josh. ram prakash oh okay my ram my friend ram prakash okay uh was dating ravina okay ram right? prakash is dating ravina ravina i love it, it and like ravina is awesome. best hmm. friends with uh chloe chloe okay. chloe and Clo- and they ravina have another guy best friend yeah. his name is Josh <laughs> These right. are so many characters <laughs> in the story. Game, right? yeah. um, <laughs> so so basically the whole point is the whole point is like my my roommate um was seeing a girl and her best Coffee. friend was there and I was there with my roommate so and Your she was Your roommate is Ram Prakash in this situation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically like the girl was uh, yeah we were kind of attracted to each other we talked and everything. They had a guy best friend in that group, right? Okay. And this guy already had a girlfriend. Okay. But he was still like getting possessive like why she is talking to me and that's kind weird. of like and it was like so visible and this is not yeah. the first time i've seen no, it no that's weird i've seen it happening a lot of times with a lot of different people mm-hmm. um and it's one thing like to get uh possessive in a protective way mm-hmm. but it's another thing like it just shows like when you're jealous like when you're yeah, getting yeah, jealous no, it's, it's it just shows no, on your face no he definitely has a thing so i'm no girl's best friend I don't want to be any girl's best friend because you can't control it. No, I'll tell you why. So if I if I if I like a girl, two things. If I like a girl, I'll never be her best friend. Like I'll I'll straight up make it make it clear make it like clear okay, we're we're friends, but I'm her. kind of okay. attracted to you. But sometimes you don't realize, no. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you're friends with someone. But or and then later you or I have a girlfriend, then no way. Like I can be anyone's best friend. I don't care. So so okay. My I whole point is like I wouldn't fake it. Like oh, I like her, but it's fine. I'll just be her best friend, and then you know slowly and steadily. But you're like, saying that other men do that. I'm saying a, a lot like of guys do that. A lot of guys that. do that. Yeah. Okay, no, I think you're right. You're probably right. Um I think that if uh, you're in a healthy relationship where you guys communicate and uh, 
you know are just like healthy and communication is key obviously if you're in a healthy relationship a guy best friend is not going to bother you mm, you uh, i know he's not going to bother me but okay I'm sucks for him <laughs> i'm no, talking about so him like him. from him pers- his now, perspective he is true if he is digging his own grave yeah 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 then that's his problem yeah. no like cuz for me my Justin i know is my thinking about all of his girl best <laughs> friends and he's like yeah i kind he's of like, like all of them he's <laughs> like shit dude she's right <laughs> no like honestly like my be- my best friend ahad i'll take his name whatever my best friend ahad and i have been close since 7 8 years now he's my best friend love of my life first person i go to for everything and uh, he's also very close to my boyfriend so is like my other friends i have a lot of male friends and my boyfriend has a lot my boyfriend's a whole uh, beep that out uh, <laughs> my boyfriend he's flirting with every person in the okay when i go to a party i'm flirting with everyone there my boyfriend's flirting with everyone kind of there. like isa <laughs> Lich- dude i think if you are in a healthy relationship no, obviously that matters like yeah. know your boundaries know where it have communicate that with your partner i don't think there's anything wrong with flirting for some free drinks i don't There get the free drinks is. I don't think don't it's don't flirt with my girl stay away I'm going to kick you out This your guy ass. is going to come he's a so good friend right now but uh yeah no I mean I think it's totally fine so I'm So was your boyfriend always chill with your best friend Yeah he's always been there's like never any kind there, of Okay there weirdness. have been there have been people he hasn't liked there yeah. have been friends of For mine he reason? hasn't liked but that's usually because they're just toxic people like male or female didn't uh-huh. matter he just didn't like them because he's like I don't think this is the nicest friend And how would you respond to it how would you go about like what he had to say with them. the only time he didn't like someone this one guy he didn't like that Ooh. one guy i can't take his name so that you one give guy name, give a pseudo name actually i'll take his name take it no his name is oh um, <laughs> uh, he didn't like this one guy um and that one guy ended up being a beep 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 oh beep, shit beep. shit that's a lot of beeps <laughs> harami mad Yeah, everything like he was a car. So, oh, um, bro, we don't say that. Sorry, sorry. We, we don't he say was that. We respect women. We Yo, never say. Take that. the mic. Okay. Take it's the mic. It's not a bad thing. You've it's not a bad thing. Privilege. By the way, it's not a bad thing. It's not. It's not. Um, I don't believe this. I I don't support this. Um, calling someone a cunt or a pussy is not at all a bad thing. It's all about it, equality. It's really. It's. <laughs> <laughs> So we were talking about yeah, digging your own grave. So this is what I was saying. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my boyfriend Praja didn't like him. And uh, <laughs> when at the time <laughs> at the time I did make excuses for uh, behavior. Uh and Praja was like he's an ass. But Praja was so nice to him. He was like okay, he's still your friend. But what was he doing that made him an ass? Just beep, 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 he's beep, just beep, beep, beep. Beep. I'll tell you everything. He No, we don't want everything. <laughs> we just want to we don't we want to be on. We want is it good? No, 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 no. It's bad. He's he's just not. I mean, is it fun for the audience? Bad for you? Then, then yeah, we want to hear it. Audience. He cheated on his girlfriend well, with uh, another friend of mine, and then something more happened, and then he did lots of stuff to it. I'd have to beep his name out now. <laughs> Why so, though? He's a lawyer, huh? So you beep. I'm <laughs> definitely gonna beep his name out. <laughs> yeah, beep his name out. Beep his name out. He's uh he's a lawyer, so he might sue us, and he will sue me for sure. Yeah. Don't they say like any what jurisdiction is, is this video going to be in? Just what this is some usage future. or what is some commercial? For future <laughs> reference, like uh, how much how much in trouble? Was it birthday yesterday? Should I answer? Oh. My friend, oh. Ardu. Let's wish him. Bar bar din ye aaye, bar bar din ye gaaye. Bro, you're you're on the podcast right now. We're wishing you happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, I do. Happy birthday to you. Aha. Thank you. Whoever this is, so much to you. Yeah, that's that's it. You. That's it. I, I'll call him later. Call him later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when when do you get free? Bro, you you're not gonna have oh, the whole conversation here on the podcast. He's doing hey, Karan, it's me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Anyway, that I'll call you. Um, hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm in the middle of a podcast. Okay, bye. Say bye, hi, Karan, bye, it's bye. me. Say hi, <laughs> <laughs> say, say hi, say hi, Sanya, it's me. Hi, Sanya, it's me. Lovely. <laughs> Ten points to uh, okay, bye. Isa. Bye. Uh, bro, mm. I. Oh, you you finishing up or we're done with the? We're done with. Let's move on. Let's move on. How, how so, uh, 
I mean, it's good. Let it roll. Like why? Why he always thinks about like ending the podcast. I don't know he's why. Like, I don't know why. Always I he's always like get really jumpy after forty minutes because I just feel like oh we should stick to that. Time. Go take a walk. <laughs> <laughs> this is my apartment. Travel. You go take a walk. Um, I uh yesterday oh yesterday I uh ran into a follower of mine, okay. and uh, I was with my roommate. He tried so hard not to say fan. I kind yeah, of did. Like Fellower. Uh, <laughs> the follower of mine. Yeah. <laughs> I ran into a fanboy of mine. Fanboy. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, "You're the guy on TikTok." I was like, "Bro, I don't do TikTok, Instagram." Yeah, same thing. <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, for them, um, fair enough, bro. Yeah. They see you. And right? then he was like, "Oh, can I buy you a drink? Like, what? What oh. are you gonna drink?" And then my I roommate went like, "Oh my God!" So you, because he's white, hmm. he was like, "Oh." You're so. famous, like you're really famous. Because he's white. That yeah, <laughs> and then I was like, I was like, uh, nah, I, I, I don't want to drink. And that guy was like, bro, chill. Like I'm not gonna tell anyone that you drink. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not. I'm That's 24 so years old. Like I'm allowed to drink. No, in India, uh, 25. Yeah, but we're in New York. Yeah, and I'm turning Jurisdiction 25 is America. this year. So yeah, um, we it's legal to drink and to sm- we don't smoke. We don't promote it. Uh, we're nice people, and. Um, Like we, as in me and Isa, are nice people. I'm um, also nice, ish. Ish. Um, no. Yesterday, I had like I was in bed by ten. Like I had a pizza and everything, but then my roommate called like, "Oh, let's go and let's like you know just go out and grab a couple of drinks." Mm-hmm. So we went to Upper Upper East Side when you texted me that yeah. uh, you want to come, and then we ended up going like all the way downtown okay. to to this art gallery, Speakeasy Bar. Oh, lovely. Wow, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> This story is the best story I've heard. Oh, I went to the speakeasy bar. Oh, what is it called? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, no, nothing. I, I, I don't want to give him out the name because he's gonna like steal the place. And the next time I walk in, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, see Isa's. Next Esau's time I want a crazy, place. crazy party, I'll be there. Yeah. So me and Emily, we went to. Uh, Having any other friends like. I'm like not I'm setting any okay. of my friends up with any of you. Why? Where? Where? Like? Why? Wha- okay. Wha- I, I don't need. You don't need. Don't need you have a very, very gorgeous girlfriend. Also very, very kind. I liked okay, her very much. You chill with her. Just very you know, much. drunk high hello. Oh, okay. And in that. And in that. Forty seconds, I was like, like, see, to look at her, I was like, wow, she's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. That took me five seconds. And then after that, when I spoke to her for ten more seconds, I'm like, nice. Wow. Wait, you, you said why? Why don't you want to set up like? No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, like what are you looking for right now? It's such a dating app question. What are you looking for? What are you for? looking for? <laughs> See, my auntie. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for? Sanya, auntie. What are you looking for? And you you're, you're only get like 60, 70% of it. Whatever yeah, you're yeah, looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compromise to karna padega aapko. So, what do you want? She should be. She should be tall. I don't know. No, I don't no, have. No, no. She, she, she should. She should have long hair. No, no. But she should have no male best friends. <laughs> No male. Yeah, I don't think you know, can honestly, handle male best friends. I'll tell you one thing. Like, I'm yeah. I'm not at all a possessive boyfriend, and I can like everyone yeah, yeah, who I've been with me. Huh. Okay. They can they can vouch for it. I'm not, but call them. Let's phone a friend. Also, should we? Uh, they should no. comment. Oh, yeah. They should comment down if no, no, he was no, no. possessive. Yeah. But but also <laughs> also, uh, like, I'll give you an example. Like with my ex girlfriend, she had. Some male This best friends. This ex is being re- referred so to so know, much. So ex This is the same ex. The same ex. Okay. She's like the one. But never mind. Oh, she's um. Like, so she had like male best friends, and I told like I I never had like any problem with them. Hmm. But I also told her like you know if someday like we're not together, these are gonna be the first one to oh, yeah, to make a move. To make a move. You know. And I think they kind of tried, but obviously like she one bro zoned. One of my friends. One of my male friends. Oh, yeah. One of my male friends once actually said this. He was like, "Going for a girl in a relationship is easier than going for a girl oh, not I, in a relationship, uh, because it's uh, they're just like it's easier to go for a girl who's with one guy versus compete with twenty other guys yeah, for exactly, one girl. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like you only have to compete with one, one guy versus, versus the rest. But just then I, I, he I, said, he said this was a quote. He's like a quote. He's like just cause a goalkeeper, uh, just cause. There's a goalkeeper doesn't that, yeah. mean you can't score I a goal. I actually kind this of This is what this is how men think. Guys. No no no, but I kind of disagree with it. I'll tell you why. Huh. I feel like girls who have like a one boyfriend and in a serious relationship mm-hmm. uh I feel like at least 90% of the times I've seen they're way more dedicated and they wouldn't 
like they wouldn't leave their guy like they're they're yeah, more dedicated I, I mean, in yeah, their relationship yeah i would like to think most people uh, are loyal yeah, I, I think that's a yeah. pretty obvious thing you just said. <laughs> <laughs> He's like scared. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's not funny. It's it's not funny, bro. It's not funny. <laughs> I'll call the cops on you. I was thinking two days back. So when I was in, I I don't know how it came up to me, yeah. uh, but it was related to my school, like back in India. Hmm. And um, you know, we had a camera in our boys' washroom. What? Yeah. What? And and whenever I tell someone this thing, and they're like, "That's not even legal," but my school didn't care. No. And you know how how it was there. Mm -hmm. So if uh, let's say like in front of us are the what do you call it urinals? Yeah. Right. Um. Bruh. Bruh. So the camera is like right there. Behind. Okay. So if you're peeing, yeah, they can see your back, but, but it's still like. Very that's much. not okay. No, that's, even, no, even that's, that's not, not at all okay. okay. Yeah. And they just installed it there so what that the uh, because so that people don't like burst firecrackers. But that just firecrackers happened. in the bath. What? Yeah. That is such a typical desi thing. Ha, huh, we are going to put uh, cameras in the boys' washroom. Why? I don't know. They might burst firecrackers. And, and like that what? was kind of ex- which school you went to? Cathedral. Ah. Ah, uh-huh. uh, what about what about you? I went to Villa Teresa. Ah, BTS girl. Oh, Bombay boy. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's um, crop him out. <laughs> now, now, now. We don't, we don't want to just move. Look, look here. Who you are? Um, I love, I'm, I love cathedral people. Oh yeah. I'm from Jaipur. You look, know, cathedral boys. Sorry, I'm going to. Uh, they have a football team. They have a football team, and I had a, ah, I had a friend. Uh, who used to play for the Bombay Scottish play. football team play sorry um he used to play for the Bombay Scottish football team and we went to this one game and uh, they were playing against cathedral good football team Very great football great team. one we um, qualified for the anglos if anyone knows what that is oh my god see this is, you know the thing with cathedralites is that we're their the biggest accomplishment were the best even now <laughs> is that they went to cathedral can you imagine how sad your life has to be? We don't have to do that anything more after. That your biggest accomplishment we, we, is we, that your parents put you in a school <laughs> we when there. you were a child. So we won. We won right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We won. You win the best. Oh my God, <laughs> Cathedral Zindabad. Gold uh, medal. <laughs> so we were there, and all these, and you know, the Bombay Scottish guys are like putting their socks on, whatever. They're like, oh, okay, we'll yeah, play we football, don't even whatever. Put socks on. Yeah, y'all didn't. Yeah. Y'all already Shin had pads. them on. Yeah. Y'all were like ready, and then y'all came, and y'all like. Okay, guys, we gotta win this. We gotta win this. We gotta win this. Why were you there, though? I was supporting a friend. Okay. The Bombay Scottish team. Was it like one of your best friends? Yeah, one of my male best friends. Male best friends. Uh, so I was there supporting that team, and then you all went, go cathedral, I, and I realized, <laughs> I realized they don't say cathedral. They say cathedral. Cathe- the e- say. I have say no. no idea. Which school you went to? About. Rewind to when he said cathedral. <laughs> cathedral. I went to Cathedral and John Connon School. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm yeah, gonna I, I think match. I think le- let's. Uh, now I'm gonna all the Cathedralites are gonna be like, bro. I don't think Cathedralites watch this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you take that mic now. He's not giving me the mic. Nah, I'm not giving you the mic. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> stop with your off school. Off the podcast. <laughs> okay, sorry. Bombay, Bombay represent. Bro, I was in Miami last month. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. And Miami. yeah, have you guys been to Miami? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Have you stayed at South Beach? No. Where Where did you stay when you went? I don't know. I went with my mom and papa when I was very small. When you were very small. Okay, mm-hmm. I went now, okay, last month. And South Beach. Have you heard of South Beach? Yes. Like, that's the happening place. That's that the Baga Beach. Go. Sure, that's literally, literally the Baga it's Beach. It's the Baga it's Beach. It's so ratchet. I went during spring break. <laughs> and and yeah. literally, the people, the guys out there, there are guys on the road just looking for girls. Like, they just cute, not cute. No, no, no. Not cute. Their job, you do you know what I'm talking about? Their job is to look South for women Beach. at South Beach. <laughs> there are just so many guys just waiting on the corners, just hitting on women, trying to pick up chicks. But that happens in New York also. No, 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 no. no. At a different level, I'm telling you. I live here. At yeah, a different, at a different level. level. I okay. saw, I saw these two guys walking, huh. I and mean, these two other girls walking in front of them. Huh. They made eye contact. The girls crossed them. The guy turned around. Looked at the girl. It was just like <laughs> the girl. The girl was like, "Cool." She oh, went. Bye. She exchanged oh. numbers. Get it. Get it. Wow. Just by, just by this. That's that's called game. 
Abir, what are you doing? Abir, <laughs> yeah. Abir, Abir, like, just, oh, my followers. Oh, look at my followers. I'm just asking Sanya, like, hey, hey is your friend cute? Like, <laughs> next time. He's oh, quite cute. Huh? <laughs> next time, you just do this, bro. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. Simple. Simple. Do like that. Like this. Actually, there was, there was a guy at your party who was hitting on Emily. I remember. Who? Do you know? Do you remember the name? No. Bro, I might have the pictures. Sure, sure, sure. He, this one guy who was hitting on Emily, and he came, okay, and he's looking at me, and I'm like, he's trying to talk to Emily. And I was like, dude, what you doing? And he was like, uh, he's like, oh, bro, uh, I'm into like white girls. And I'm like, you, <laughs> you're gonna say that, and you think I'm gonna let you talk to my friend? And then he was like, no, bro, I'm, uh, let me do my thing. And I'm can like, I, okay, can give I me. See who it was? Do you <laughs> have a picture? And I was like, I was like, I do your know. thing. I have a let lot me of see pictures. you do your thing. I'll, so I'll, he we can look at it later. He looks at Emily and he talks and he's like, uh, so, huh, hi. And I was like, that was your move, hi. And literally, <laughs> I was like, I looked at him and I'm like, you can do better. And he was like, oh, I'm trying, I'm trying to talk to her, bro. I'm trying to talk to her. Wow. And I was like, I was like, dude, like, what's wrong with you? And he was like, so uh, where are you from? And Emily's like, New York. And then he's like, oh, I'm from, I'm from India. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, everyone <laughs> at this party <laughs> is from. We are in Cathedral right now. And he was like, uh, okay. Um, something, something he said, and I looked at him, and I'm like, this is not working. And he's like, bro, why are you trying to cock block me, man? Like, wow. why are you trying to cock block me? And I was like, I literally said this, I promise. I, Shabbat, you can ask Emily. I literally, told, I looked at him, and I'm like, dude, look around you. I have the biggest day in the room. There's no way. Like, move on. <laughs> and he was like, why are you so rude, dude? <laughs> I, like, I love him. I love that. I love boys who try. Keep trying. Love yes. boys who try. That's Thank why we Thank don't you. try, <laughs> and that's why we're single. <laughs> why does he keep saying we? Oh. we yeah, yeah, I don't. Know. <laughs> so he doesn't try. That's yeah, what that's I'm saying. No, no, no. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> he'll start feeling bad. Then then he start talking about oh. his other ex, and he'll start going oh, yeah, on about same, yeah. The same ex. We were done. We're done listening about yeah. that. You don't want to listen about the exes. No, no, no. You were. You do come prepared with that one story only. <laughs> with one person got ten stories. Dude, tell me something. Your ex, how does she? Uh, how do you think she'll feel? Does she watch this, does she or does she like fully block you? Does she block you completely? No, no, no. We're You're a friend still. Not friends, but we acquaintances. Like, yeah, yeah. But would she watch this? Maybe, but I. Wait, I didn't say anything bad. No, no, no. no. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying you're just like no, bringing no, no. her up. We're not saying anything like, bad. No, no. I'm saying in general, how's your really? Okay, what are your thoughts on uh, people who are still friends with their exes? Would no, you have a problem a with idea. that? It's a bad idea. You shouldn't yeah. be. You Sorry, Isa. It's a bad idea. You shouldn't you be. He just wants to shit on me right now. Yeah. Like at a distance. Uh, yeah, that's. I think it's fine. Like. <laughs> to, uh, I got a vacuum. Should I pull your wig? Yeah. It's it's a wig. Yeah, I don't know. I, th- I think uh, you, it's fine to be friends with your exes as long as like it's at a distance and um, you guys are very clear about what kind of no, friendship it is. a good relationship. No. Uh, all uh, green flag. I'm, I'm saying he's, it he's depends toxic on what now, this guy. No, no, it's not about being toxic. It depends it's not on, funny, sir. It depends on... It depends, <laughs> 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 it depends on what kind of relationship you've had. Um, if you have been no, with someone... Valid, valid. Or then Ooh. I'm sorry, you. Uh, it's it's a very like okay. dangerous zone. Okay, okay. Well, I, because what did you tell her in her years? We want to know. Oh, he's here. Okay, but it's. Oh, I, I can beep it. I'm gonna edit it. Yeah. So if you've been with someone okay. for like, six then you broke up. It's. I I don't think it's a good idea to be friends oh. because in order to move on, like it takes time. It doesn't happen. Also, w- one thing I wanna I wanna say like it was so funny like how you said like oh. When I asked you, like, oh, you're, uh, I was telling Justin, like, oh, yeah, she's a content creator. And she was like, no, 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 I'm just a product of nepotism. I am fully, a pro- like, Tanisha is a content crea- creator and she works very, very hard and her stuff is very, very good. Uh, I say stupid things, get cancelled for it, and uh, that's why people come. Do people give okay. her shit for, like, when, when you uh, talk yeah, shit on yeah, the internet? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. They give her some shit for it, but she doesn't, see, I'm very vocal about my political opinions and I never want to be. So if I say something that does not agree with necessarily the majority, that is okay. I am very much a leftist and I have a lot of thoughts. Yeah. And she's okay with that. Like she doesn't necessarily post it on her profile, but uh, true. You know. Makes sense. Dude, freedom Makes of speech. Sense. Yeah. 
Hell yeah. Wow. He says yeah, again, zoned me. out. <laughs> no, no, tell me more about uh, Tanisha. Like, look, I don't know. I don't really know you. I don't really what, know are you. Tanisha are you is. trying to chase clout? Like, what are you trying no, no, to I do? Why are, you, why are you talking about Tanisha on uh, with uh, we so we, Sanya? We can, oh so that, so that we, he can, can title. Uh, Tanisha's older sister, older sister. Uh, goes to Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> goes to Brooklyn. No, no, but I want to know more. I'm sure there are people out there who don't know who she is. But you were also in Boston University. I was, a, no, I was in a Babson. Oh. Okay, yeah, so just tell us quickly about Tanisha and about you because I don't know anything about your content, about her content. Cloud. And then, okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, Tatu is uh, my sister. She's a content creator. She guys, and guys, I guys. are very close. I w- I w- guys, guys, guys. She's telling you shut the f- <laughs> <laughs> Not in that way, but yeah, kind <laughs> of. Yeah. Go ahead. F- yeah. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Tanisha is my sister. She's a real content creator. And uh, she's at uh, Boston University. Why do you say that real content Because creator? she works hard. No, she's like good at so what, what she does. So what about us, Isa? Y'all are also, you also work. I said this to you. I said you she's should sorry. be very pr- sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. I want to apologize for saying that. No, no, she did um, say that. She was like, I yeah, did. I yeah. told you. I was like, you should be very she proud of like, yourself. But I am proud of it. She just told me. You should be proud of yourself. And well, I was I'm like, sorry. I, I never I doubted com- myself. I compliment <laughs> people also, they have a problem. Okay, I have no opinions. Forget it. Say sorry for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry again. I'm sorry you have to watch this. <laughs> oh, wow. um, and if you've made it so far, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. Cool, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You were, you were saying something. Finish it, finish it. What was I saying? About you, your sister. The we're very close. Uh, she is a content creator. She's very, very good at what she does. She works very hard. Just as they do. And uh, yeah, you should go follow her at the new show. That's you? That's going to beep out and it's going to be, be like other. And what about yours? Good idea. Tell them to follow it. I'm um, just Sanya Marani, which is my name. Cool. Yeah. yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you, did you like uh, being on the podcast? See, I... You do it now. I, uh, I would have loved it so much more had it been uh, in Brooklyn, where I went to uh, originally. However, I had I had a great time. So thank you guys for having me. Thank you so much for well, coming thank to you, the Thank podcast. you for making it. Okay, you're coming all the way from Queens. And uh, since y'all are buying me lunch, I'm very excited to <laughs> eat lunch also. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. We'll, we'll, we'll take will, it to that cheap will. Korean place cool. uh, Justin was talking about. No, you think I won't? I'll say no. Free no, no, it's, it's actually a great place. It's a, it's a good place. You're he right next he to Ketan. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. took out some cash for us to eat too. I think yeah. Justin's. Uh, <laughs> Justin! Justin! <laughs> you know what Justin said? Justin took out some cash and he was like, you know, there's another great place which, where you can which eat. Which place? Which Korean so place? All of chicken. All of chicken. Where is that? On K- like 34? K-Town? Okay. Uh, cool, let's... All right, now we're going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you so thank much for you. watching it. Make sure to give it a like. Comment down Shit. below. Like, if you want to hate on Sanya, don't hate on her. If you want to hate on me, don't hate on me. But Isa, go ahead. Like, go ahead. Roast go ahead. him. In uh, the comments. DM go him ahead. on Instagram. Yes. Abuse him and Do call it. him sexy. Do it. Um, that, that'll that be the biggest insult if you call me sexy. Yeah. Then I have to deal with... See, I'm driving the audience to your Instagram. That's know, what I'm doing. I know. So it's I, so I thank if you. If I tell them that you're nice, You have to go. tell them to yeah, not do it. it. Yeah. Let's do it and right now. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Ghanta podcast episodes. And we're out. Let's go. Let's walk out. Let's walk out. Let's walk out.